few days ago, I posted a tutorial on how to extract a unique list of the duplicate items. I encourage you to watch this tutorial and check my solution that can be reused on any table or range in just 10 seconds. I then received another solution in a comment from my friend Sergi Baclan, the Excel guru and longtime Excel MVP, that I want to share with you. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I'm mainly focusing on the little used third argument of the unique dynamic array function and show you how it can be a game changer in the solution for extracting a unique list of the duplicate items. Let's have a look. In this worksheet, I have a list of manager names in a table. Some of the names appear only once and these names are highlighted in yellow by conditional formatting like Jerry, Mike, Tom, Stephen, Daniel, and Sandra. And some of the names appear more than once and they are highlighted in green by conditional formatting like Nabil, Cristiano, Melissa, and Chin. My goal is to extract a unique list of the duplicate values. Then I want to extract the names that are repeated more than once, but I want one single occurrence of each name. I want to extract those names appearing in the cells having a thin outer border. Nabil, Cristiano, Melissa and Chin. This is a table and I can see on the table design tab, I named the table data and I named the column manager. What if I create in cell D3 a unique dynamic array function, equal unique, and then I hit tab, and I select this single column in the data table, the manager column. I'm omitting the remaining arguments. I close the bracket and I hit enter, and I get a distinct list of names, which means all the names in column B are included in the result of the unique function, and they appear only once. What if I provide the third argument and I give it a value of false? If I recreate the unique function, equal unique, and then I hit tab, and then I select the same array one more time, I type a comma, yes, I want it in a column, then I type another comma to skip the argument, and for the last argument, I want to return every distinct item, then I type zero for false, I close the bracket, when I hit enter, I will get the same exact result. However, if instead of zero for the last item, I type a true, or I type one, then I will be getting a list of the names that appear only once, the names in the yellow cells. Let's do that, equal unique, and then I hit tab, I select the column, manager, I type a comma, I want it by column, I type another comma to skip the argument, but this time I want the true to return items that appear exactly once. So if I type one, which means true, I close the bracket and then I hit enter. I get the list of names in the yellow cells. These are the names that appear only once. But now look at this creative solution. I'm going to combine the two lists returned by the unique dynamic array function and I want to append them on top of each other in a vStack function. The vStack function will append the result in column F to the result in column E. Let's do that. I type equal v stack and then I hit tab. What's your first array? It's the one returned by the unique dynamic array function with the default argument. I type unique and then I hit tab. I select this entire range. I close the bracket for the unique function. I type a comma and now I want to provide the second array that you see in column F. That's another unique function and then I hit the tab key. I want to select the column, the manager column, I type comma, I type another comma to skip this argument, but this time I'll be typing one to return the items that appear only once. I close the bracket for the second unique, I close the bracket for the vStack function, and when I hit enter, look at this. Conditional formatting highlights the unique values in yellow. 
and the duplicate values in green. In fact, it reversed the original list. What used to appear once now is a duplicate. What used to be a duplicate now appears once and it's in yellow. What I want to do is to extract the names in yellow. Nabil, Cristiano, Melissa and Chen. And that's a perfect job for another unique dynamic array function. And to save time, I'm going to copy this function. Control C, I hit escape. And I want to return a unique list of the duplicate items in a column. And I type equal unique. And then I hit tab. What's your array? I paste this entire function. Then I type comma. I want to skip the second argument of the unique function. I'll accept the default by column. I type another comma. And here I type 1 to return items that appear exactly once. The items in yellow in column G. I close the bracket and hit enter. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Should you wish to get these items in one single cell separated by comma, then I can copy this entire function, Control C, I hit escape, and I'm going to wrap all these functions in an array to text function. And I type equal array to text, I hit the tab key, I paste all these functions, I close the bracket, and when I hit enter, this is the solution horizontally in one single cell, and this is the solution vertically in one single column. Should you wish to use this function with any other range, then you can put it in a let dynamic array function. Then in cell J3, I type equal let, and then I hit tab. The let function allows me to create a variable. I'm going to name the variable RNG, short for range, and then I type a comma. What's the value of this range? I can select any column. This is just a sample range that will be replaced by the real range when I use the function. I type another comma, and now I paste the entire function, Control v And to be able to reuse this function, I need to replace every occurrence of data manager by the name of the variable range. Then I select this occurrence, and I type RNG. And then I select the second occurrence and I replace it with the name of the variable RNG. And now I close the bracket for the let function. When I hit enter, I will get a calculation error. But when I reuse it, I just replace the sample range with the real range I want. So if I put it in the edit mode and then I select MM, I select this range one more time, I hit enter, and I get the result I'm looking for. You can take your function to the next level by saving it as an autocorrect entry and use it in just a few seconds. I explained that in my tutorial. You can watch it by clicking on the link below this video. Thank you, Sergi Backland, for this amazing solution. And if you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done that to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.